could happen if the Yonkos team doubt. We have seen time and time again that the Navy's main power comes from their unity. From their fleet admiral to the admirals and vice admirals, there's a proper chain of command. Whereas all the different Yonkos have their own personal goals in mind. If we compare it to that one Yonko has an equal might to that of an admiral, then the Navy itself has a minimum of four Yonko level. Now you might think that this is a fair matchup considering that there are four Yonkos as well. But you're forgetting the unity amongst the Navy. The pirates even fight amongst each other, whereas if they wanted to, the four admirals could go up against one Yonko and this would quite frankly not last very long for the Yonko as there is no way one Yonko can handle the entire might of the Navy. A case in point of this would be in Marineford, when the admirals only utilized their devil foot powers and didn't even showcase their use of Haki. A popular argument that comes up in this is that the Yonko would be supported by his crew and his fleets. But keep in mind, even the Navy has countless warships and vice admirals that are also insanely strong, like Garp, Smoker and Momongo. This list is quite frankly endless. But what would happen if the Yonko set aside their selfish desires and united to go against the Navy? From Luffy's crew, just by considering the monster trio, we have Luffy who can take an admiral head on and I believe Zoro and Sanji can also take one admiral on. From Buggy's crew also, I believe Crocodile and Mihawk can take on an admiral each and this itself ties up the main powerhouses of the Navy. Now we are gonna go through the rest of the crews of these two Yonkos. They will go against the Vice Admirals and other soldiers. If we just use Ben Beckman and Lucky Roo from Shanks' crew to handle all the new pacifistas the Navy has, you know what, I'll also throw in Yasok to that mix just to make it safe. This still leaves the majority of Shanks' crew and even Shanks himself to make sure that the Admirals stay down. Now this is where the fight gets interesting because we have been very lenient in just dishing out characters to fight the five Admirals because the five elders will also join in the fight. We can safely assume that they each have a Yonko level fight in prowess, so the navy threw five more Yonkos into the field. If you guys keep up with the manga, then you are aware of the strange powers that Saturn possesses from his godfoot. But we still haven't talked about Blackbeard's crew in which there are members like Aokiji, Shiryu and Jesus Burge, just to name a few. Now you guys are probably gonna say that this isn't enough to take down the five elders, and yeah, fair enough. But there are still so many pilots to add to this list like Trafalgar Law and Captain Eustace Kidd whom proved their might by dethroning Big Mom and even apart from that we have figures like Boa Hancock and Do Flamingo whom also possess very immense might. But regardless it would still be a very close fight. If you guys want to watch me talk about where the Shandorians originated from then check out this other video that will pop up now.